hello uh, in this video I will go I will show you the uh, NJ fat transfer characteristic curve plotting in LT spice and in the next video I will show you how to plot the output characteristic curve so let's start with this in the component library uh, we would find the n type jfat here it is okay now <clears throat> as you can see that this arrow terminal this is the gate terminal and this other terminal which is near to which is located near to the gate terminal this is known as the source terminal and the remaining is the train terminal so as we all know that the JFAT and the MOSFETs are the voltage control device unlike the BJTs which are current control device so we would place the voltage source on gate to source terminal and the drain to source terminal both okay now let's wire these terminals Now for the drain resistor, we can put a 1 kilo ohm resistor so that the drain current can flow from this transistor drain and source terminal. Now let's rename these voltage sources to be VGS and rename this also to VDS. Okay, now uh, for the transfer characteristic curve, we all know that the transfer characteristic curve is comprised of the VGS on the x-axis and IDS on the y-axis. So we will sweep the VGS voltage source and we will keep this voltage to drain to source voltage as constant. Let's take it to be 15 volt constant fixed. <coughs> and yes, first of all select the type of a transistor from the available library of LTSPICE. Let's take this 2N3819 first very first transistor from VSHIP. Okay. And let's see what does the uh, data sheet of this uh, transistor say about the transfer characteristic curve. So 2N3819 here I have already opened 2N3819 transistor data sheet now let's find the transfer characteristic curve here is the transfer characteristic curve of this 2N3819 n-type JFET as you can see that the gate to source voltage is swept from 0 volt to minus 3 volt so we would also do the same simulate edit simulation command DC sweep DC sweep, we would sweep the source VGS, name VGS. Type of sweep is linear and start voltage is 0. Stop voltage, we would take minus 5 instead of minus 3. So, I have, so we can have a bigger span and can see clearly the pinch off voltage. Increment would be 0 0.01 so that our curve would be nice and smooth curve. Okay. Now, uh, let's see what this graph also tell us about this graph says that the pinch off voltage is minus 3 volt so we would see what would be the pinch off voltage in our simulation and this also says that VDS is 10 volt ok so we have taken the VDD that is 15 volt and drain to source voltage would be uh, 10 volt ok so <coughs> So I think that's fine. Yes, and we can also sweep the temperature parameter also. Here, there, here the transfer characteristic curve is shown for three different temperatures. That is extreme minus 55 degrees centigrade cold and extreme hot 125 degrees centigrade operating temperature and normal ambient room temperature of 25 degrees centigrade. We can also do the same by using the uh, simulation command in LT spice dot step temperature tem temp list 
माइनस फिफ्टी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव वन ट्वेंटी फाइव वी कैन प्लेस दिस कमांड एनी वेयर ऑन दो स्कीमेटिक आई हैव प्लेस हेयर नाउ लेट सिमुलेट एंड सी व्हाट हैपेंस ओके सो द करंट थ्रू द आर वन वुड बी द ड्रेन करंट सो लेफ्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस एंड हेयर एज यू कैन सी दिस नाइस एंड स्मूथ कर्व अपीयर्स ऑन राइट क्लिक वी कैन सी दैट द लेजेंड्स हेयर ग्रीन कर्व इज द नेगेटिव फिफ्टी फाइव टेम्परेचर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टेम्परेचर कर्व एंड ब्लू इज ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड कर्व एंड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड कर्व इज रेड इन कलर एज यू कैन सी दैट द ड्रेन करंट ड्रेन करंट फॉर वन ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एट वी जी एस इक्व टू माइनस वन वोल्ट इज लेसर then 25 degree centigrade room temperature and at minus 55 degree centigrade temperature the drain current is maximum so this is the trend this is the curve as you can see and this totally resembles with the data sheet curve okay so let's say we select 25 degree centigrade temperature room room temperature transfer characteristic curve left click on this uh, variable and move the cursor on minus 1 volt minus 1 volt vgs here as we can see at minus 1 volt vgs the drain current is found to be equal to 5.3 milliampere so Here also, as we can see that this is minus one volt near minus one volt and twenty five degree centigrade curve. This is here, and if we can see the y axis, this is approximately equivalent to five point three milliampere as as well. So our simulation exactly matches with the data sheet results of the transfer characteristic curve. Okay, now let's we select all of them. Select all. Okay. i hope uh, this video was helpful for you and uh, in the next video i would show the output characteristic curve plotting thank you very much